What we can see, we can love, and what we can love, we will fight to protect. This quote is quoted by Suyash Keshri, a wildlife conservationist, a filmmaker and a wildlife photographer who has dedicated his life to the tigers of Banthavgarh. Definitely a visionary and an idol to someone who wants to conserve wildlife. But what is the reason behind this quote? In order to protect our pristine wild world, we need to observe the wildlife first. Only then we learn loving it. And what we love we will definitely protect till our last breath. The human being's first home and the origin of him are the forests and his family members are the wildlife who have grown alongside him. Although connecting to nature by going on a safari to a national park might be pricey, there is a place which swallows you into its natural beauty and our city Mysore is lucky to have this place. Situated in the heart of our city, Mysore is a haven for a nature lover. Welcome to the Sri Chamarajendra Zoological Gardens, also known as Mysore Zoo. We are here on account of a prestigious and an important day for a wildlife enthusiast and for all those who are in the wildlife industry. But before we dive into this pool of wildlife, know a bit about your host. My name is Pranav PM and I am a tiger and a wildlife enthusiast. Apart from that, I am also into wildlife photography. I am a social media influencer on YouTube who posts videos about wildlife and about tigers. From the past 2-3 to three years, I have been growing restless about finding a way to conserve our natural beauty. I have been exposed to a large number of people who are in the wildlife field. To put it in short, I found a way to educate more people and share info about the happenings in the wildlife world. I will be your host in this experience for this special day. Well, today is 29th July, a milestone in the conservation of this keystone species. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night. What immortal hand or eye could form thy fearful symmetry? The tiger, the biggest of all big cats, powerful, stealthy, patient and aggressive. But even with these qualities, tigers are losing the fight of survival to humans. The saying, the hunter, the hunted is true in today's world. Humans are truly at the apex predator levels. Tigers still have hope of rebounding. 29th July, World Tiger Day. This documentary revolves around the stories of the tigers in Mysore Zoo and the other creatures of the pristine place as well. Welcome to Mysore Zoo.
Mysore Zoo is a 157 acre zoo located near the palace in Mysore and is one of the oldest and the most popular zoos in India. It has a wide range of species. Mysore Zoo is one of the city's most popular attractions. This zoo opened in 1892 and the number of animals it has is 1450. This mini forest houses many many species of animals. Some of the most colorful species are the elephants, the lions, the leopards, the gorse and of course the animal for the day, tigers. Tigers, the biggest of all the big cats with orange fur and black vertical stripes running down their body. They are one of the most powerful animals to exist on earth and Mysore Zoo is lucky to have one of them. Today, 29th July, is a reminder that we must protect our natural beauty before it is too late. As we have enjoyed the charisma and the beauty of this tiger, we should allow the future generations to benefit and enjoy the beauty of this tiger. This day isn't just about tigers. It is about the biodiversity of the Mysore Zoo and the wonder it holds. Besides the tigers in captivity, the real spirit of the tiger is revealed in the jungles of the incredible India. Nothing in this world is as rare as spotting a tiger in its wild habitat just strolling through the bushes on the search for food and patrolling his territory. Only a few people have got a chance to witness such a wonderful sighting and such a once in a lifetime opportunity to see the king of the jungle walk around his territory. But as majestic and powerful as they seem, Tigers are losing the fight to humans who are killing them off using modern technology. The very humans can use the modern technology in a better way to create a much better future for tigers and ultimately create a better future for us. As we have enjoyed the charisma of this animal, let the future generations too benefit from this animal and enjoy the charisma and the nature of this big cat. What is more intriguing than seeing a tiger fight on your latest safari? What is more intriguing than seeing a mother tiger with her cubs nurturing them? All of these elements of the tiger is shown at a very cheap price in the Mysore Zoo. I understand that the safari costs too much and you have to pay a lot. But Mysore Zoo provides all the behaviors and visuals by recreating the tiger's environment. Zoos primarily deal with three aspects of conservation, practice, advocacy and research. Conservation practice entails captive breeding, species reintroduction programs, species survival plans and the use of zoo revenue for conservation programs in the wild. These are the few methods through which all the zoos contribute to the conservation of endangered species and Mysore Zoo is one of them. As calm as the Mysore Zoo animals seem they are, they can get a little bit exaggerated and aggressive when they are playing with their enclosure mates.
while some animals like the leopards try to be active throughout the day at Mysore Zoo, some animals like our very own tiger like to rest in the heat of the day, enjoying their sleep. Although the zoo might give us an insight of the tiger's life, the real so-called avatar of the tiger is unleashed in the Indian jungles, which is rich in tigers. Here in the Indian jungles, tigers don't have any boundary to their freedom and can do as per their wish. Yes, although zoos keep tigers in a secluded and a very small place, they do help in conservation. But jungles help to a large extent in the conservation of the tigers. If the tigers are given the space and the food and all the requirements they need to breed and to produce their own tigers, we need to form new habitats for the tigers so that they live a problem-free life. With the conservation of the tigers, many other species which are under the tigers in the food chain benefit and get a long time survival. Hence, tigers are called an umbrella species because the tiger's conservation leads to all the animal's conservation. So hence, we must take a step to conserve tigers and Mysore Zoo, I think, is doing very well in these efforts. Often times, tigers in the Mysore Zoo just go about their business without doing anything. But these clips are the total opposite of what I just said. Tigers are meant for aggression and this tiger named Rocky in his enclosure is portraying the visual treats of a tiger in the wild. Mysore Zoo truly shows the charisma and the beauty of the tigers in such a close proximity. Have a look at Rocky's behavior. Tigers are one of the few big cats that like to spend time in the water. Apart from the jaguar, the tiger is the only big cat known to swim and like water. Unlike its small cousin, the house cat.
white tigers are one of the most rarest and most enigmatic species to have ever walked the earth. The first ever white tiger was known to originate from Madhya Pradesh in Bandhavgarh National Park. Previously, in the centuries, a king called the Maharaja of Rewa had hunted almost all the tigers in Bandhavgarh National Park. One day, on the king's patrol, he came across a white tiger cub. He captured it and named it Mohan. Mohan was brought up in the royal palace of the king and was made to mate with many other tigresses so that many more white tigers get produced. Eventually, with the overpopulation of white tigers, the king made a deal with several other foreigners and sold the white tigers to all parts of the world. This is how white tigers spread their fame in all directions of the world and is almost seen in every captive area. Although tigers might be one of the main attractions of Mysore Zoo, there is an animal which is as equally mesmerizing as the tiger and this animal is leopard. The leopard is the smallest of all big cats which include tigers, lions and jaguars. Although they are the smallest big cats, they are not to be messed with as they can be one of the most dangerous animals on earth. The spots on the leopard skin are called rosettes and are mainly used for hunting purposes so that it goes unnoticed in the eye of the prey. Leopards are extremely agile cats and adapt to all types of situations and terrains. They are the most widely spread of all cats but still face a very threatening state. All of the big cats including leopards face a lot of threats and people around the world like NGOs are trying to conserve them. Leopards like to play around with their playmates and like to spend time in the trees and often take their kills high up in the trees to avoid any more stronger predators stealing their prey from them. Although the body mass and the size of the leopard is big, leopards find it very easy to climb down or jump up trees. This is a common trait of leopards which is shown in this clip. Look at these leopards, one of the most active animals at Mysore Zoo. We have been through the marvelous stories of the tigers and the leopards for 29th July. 29th July will always be a reminder to protect these magnificent beasts called tigers. And somewhere 50 years down the line, we shouldn't be telling the next generation that there once was a beautiful tiger living in our Indian jungles, but we let them go. There is a saying, nurture nature for nature to nurture us back. This means that we must look after and nurture nature so that she gives us far more in return. And by nurturing nature, I mean conserving and protecting our resources and using them judiciously. And also conserving the wildlife who have grown alongside us. Mysore Zoo truly helps in such conservations of endangered species like our very own tiger. Today, 29th July will always be a reminder to carry for the future generations and for them to witness the beautiful and aggressive beast called the tiger. <laughs>